Hey guys, welcome back to another awesome, amazing video. And I'm just gonna put uh, some stuff, well, prepare some stuff for Boy Scout trip tomorrow. And I'm just gonna show you some stuff that I bring with me. Some of my camping gear. This is not all the camping gear that I bring, just roughly, because we're doing a Klein Deck Derby. So I'm just gonna bring a little small light bag but some of the stuff that i need to bring in it uh bear with me okay this is gonna be hard because i only have one hand so all right let's go um start off um i have a uh, survival bl blanket reflectant so you can reflect your body heat and also you can use it as a tarp go in the front pouch um, uh, this is my totem chip, and then I have my fireman chip back here. This is what I use, so I can be able to use a knife, axe, saw, and then for my fireman's chip, I can build fires and tend fires. It's so that. Uh, compass. Here's my, one of my compasses I use sometimes. It's clear, so you can use a topographic map with it. That's all I need over here. Oh yeah, here's some of my fire stuff. I got a lighter, some, uh, um, a candle, and some, vi uh, Vaseline, gauze, cotton ball stuff. It was in there. Uh, a little bit of rope string stuff. It was in there. Uh, another compass. Different compass. To hold better in your hand. In there. Uh, saw. Holding saw. And close. There we go. In there, um, pen so you can write stuff down. Uh, some electrical tape. I don't know if and when you need that. Uh, more fire starter flint, uh, flint rod. It goes in there. Some fire tinder. And fluff it up and spark it with flint, flint and steel. It's there. Um, flashlight. I need to put some new batteries in it though. It's pretty good though when it has new batteries. There. Uh, an old bar. Don't know when you're gonna get hungry. Uh, some paracord. Don't know when you need that. Um, some tissue paper. Um, just in case you need to use the bathroom or blow your nose, etc. Uh, knife. I bring a good knife with you. Um, some more fire tinder stuff, Vaseline and cotton balls. Um, okay, so for medical stuff, got a ace bandage here. Wrap yourself up. So, I have two different first aid kits. This is a normal one that I normally bring for just like a little day type stuff. Well, just for a little quick, easy stuff. But then I'm just gonna bring this. So, I got two first aid kits. So, I'm just gonna pick one. Uh, I might choose this one just for because it has a little bit more stuff in it more uh like tape and yeah more first aid stuff that's all i go with me this one mostly just has band-aids um whoa, uh band-aids and normal first aid type and type uh just for cuts and stuff like that um Right here, a little survival pack thing has a knife, flint and steel in it, 
um, compass, and well, little uh, pliers too, multi tool. This one go with me, and then my scout book. So, because it tells you a lot about nature and things that you should be prepared in the outdoors. Um, and also, I'm going to be bringing a water bottle. I don't have that here. Um, but I also have a life straw. But I'm not going to be bringing this because it's a little too big. And I'm not going to be, like, near any rivers, streams, or anything. And I have a couple of trash bags with some duct tape wrapped around. Um, but again, I'm still not going to use this because we're going to be out in public. So, and there's garbage bags and stuff like that. It's a big, huge, uh, like a, it's a derby race where a lot of other scouting, scouting stuff has a bunch of activities. And, uh, it's a big, huge, almost like a real lane race. And... There's going to be slide pulling, and normally you pull this boat, it's called a dinky, and you have to pull it up over a hill, just a couple of people, and then you do snowshoeing, and then sometime, like, some type of scavenger hunt, and then fire building, and a lot of stuff. It's really cool, and it's supposed to be in Sabatis or something this year. It's pretty cool. Um, want to do just a little tiny update. Um, when it comes time into spring and April, I'm going to be start doing some more like outdoor stuff, like fishing and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that stuff, and I'll be doing some more RC stuff outdoors videos of that so you can see rc's driving in action uh going to show off on stuff uh so catch me in the next video don't forget like and subscribe count down below stay tuned see ya